<laughs> we should save this for the show. Welcome to the... <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the uh, All Pop No Culture podcast. Um, we are a pop culture center podcast, primarily talking about television and movies and stuff to watch and avoid and all that kind of stuff. If you're new to the show, welcome. Strap in because we have no idea where our conversation is going to go. But uh, we're going to hopefully talk about um, some uh, uh, shows we've been watching on. The more popular streaming networks like uh, HBO and Hulu and Amazon Prime, Netflix, and Apple TV Plus, and any movies you might have watched this last week during this pandemic craziness where we're stuck at home. Um, so yeah, and then uh, after the break, we should hopefully have a healthy discussion about the best, our top five comedies of the 2010s, which we uh, all. Um, came ac- upon the same conclusion was a little more difficult than we thought, but we'll save that for after the break. So let's just go around the horn. And uh, last week, I believe we started with Kevin, and since he's having an an, uh, allergy attack, Something. Alex. <laughs> oh, thanks. What uh, would you do this last week that is worth talking about? Uh, let me bring up my list. I watched uh. a lot of shit. Strap in. Prepared. Okay, I'm strapped. No, I'm just I'm just gonna talk about a few things. Um, oh, <clears throat> getting sexy in here. Wow, that was quick. That was a <laughs> that was a record. Yeah, was it four minutes in? Yeah. Um. So just as a continuation from last week, because I believe I started talking about it then, I've still been plowing through the Last Kingdom. Oh yeah. Well, um, well, yeah, I think that was last week. This is the Viking yeah. one, right? Viking and England kind of half and half, but yeah. Um, I think last time we spoke, I'd only watched a few episodes, maybe. Yeah, I think you're like two or three. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm in season four now because the show's fucking awesome. and I I can't stop watching it. I think Sam and I plowed through. What's that? How many episodes per season? There are three episodes per season? Yeah, right. Uh, No, there's like 10-ish, and they're full hours because they're Netflix. So oh, damn, how yes, many? Yeah. And how many? Is, is the whole series out? I don't know if this is uh, over or not oh. because I don't want to look at, at the internet and get spoilers. So um, they have four seasons currently. I don't know if there's more. It's or been not. out that long, really. Yeah, it's been four years. Wow. Um, yeah. So Sam and I watched season three in a day. Wow. Like, we just couldn't stop. It was like because like at the end of every episode, we're like, we can't stop there. And we just went to the next one, and it's just until like four in the morning. And wow. <laughs> it's like, well, it's a great fucking show. I highly recommend it, um, especially if you're <clears throat> wanting a Game of Thrones y or Vikings y type show. Um, if you're jonesing for some medieval shit, it's, it really hits the spot. And it's really good acting, really good action. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Solid. As far as like the, uh, you know, like it, it, if you look at the difference between Game of Thrones and say The Witcher, so two shows I have yeah. seen in, in terms of production and just how it looks, and also uh, did you see? Did, I can't remember if you ever watched C. I, I watched C first, yeah. Okay, yeah, sorry. Right. So you go. How would you describe the? <clears throat> I don't know, like the cinematography of the way it's shot in those comparisons. I would say it's probably not as epic as something like C. C was like insane as far as like cinematography yeah, and yeah. all that kind of stuff. Um, it's honestly just a little bit more grounded. There's some great shots. They use a lot of aerial shots, uh, landscapes and stuff like that. Okay. Um, cool. pr- production has just ramped up over the seasons as you would expect. Season one, all I right. think I even mentioned, feels a little season one-y. Like some of the costumes okay. look a little cheap and shit. Um, but it just gets better and better as it goes along. Like everything cool. does. So, highly recommend. Uh, um, I hadn't watched it yet, so I plowed through season 14 of Always Sunny. Oh. Um, yeah, yeah, which was the newest one when Dennis yeah. was fully back. Because season 13, yeah. he was like half there. Yeah, and I really didn't like that. Show. Yeah, I really didn't like that season because he's my favorite character. Yeah. And I felt it felt it was a little weak. Um, but this season's definitely better. I liked 14 mm-hmm. quite a bit. Yeah. 
I have to rewatch it. I've I've only seen it once, but um yeah, me too. I, I just renewed, remember like uh, it. it got renewed for season fifteen, which makes it the longest running sitcom in television history. Live or action live action sitcom. Sitcom. So, yeah. yeah. So yeah. Because like nothing that. will ever beat The Simpsons. <laughs> yeah. No shit. Yeah. I think uh and I, I, I think it'll be good. I think it, I especially if it's the last season. Because cause a while back, I think it's like season twelve, I thought that was the last season. Yeah. Or something like that. The way they ended it, it seemed like it's the last season. Was that the one where they were on the boat? And yeah, was, like, the, the last episode, yeah. the game goes to hell. Yeah. 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 So, um, and, yeah. so when I heard they were even coming back after that, I was really surprised. Yeah. I'm glad they did. It's a great show. Yeah. Uh, kind of in the same vein. I don't know if anyone else ended up watching it. I know we've talked about it a little bit in our chat. Did anyone else see the Mythic Quest Quarantine episode? Yes. Yes. <clears throat> okay. Uh, Pete? You didn't get a chance to watch it. Okay. Don't, feel free to discuss. I mean, really there's not well. much to discuss, but it's, uh, I thought yeah, it was really, really good. Yeah. I thought it was really good too. Yeah, it, yeah. It, it, it was like a WebEx uh, meeting between everybody, like through chat, but in the typical hilarious Rob McElhenney style, but with some like really deep kind of heartfelt and yeah. 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 Heart wrenching heart, shit yeah, in it. Sure. Uh, yeah, it's like, wow, this, it, I did not expect that at all. Um, and it, I kind of forgot. It, it really the first time I watched anything in that you know uh, you know kind of setup where this Zoom type of recording is becoming you know the, the norm. Yeah. Where I it didn't feel like one of those kind of you know shows or yeah. one of those setups. Yeah, I, like, like the Parks and Rec one, and I think like Community might have done one. Like, there's been a bunch of them. There's a show. There's a there's a lawyer show. All rise, that did one. That was actually okay. I I caught it. It was actually really kind of neat because it showed how they did it, how they do a trial mm. via Zoom and that oh. kind of thing. So that was kind of interesting. And it was also it's the only one that's been done on like broadcast TV. That's interesting. Everything know, else has been um, in, in complete reruns. Yeah, I've been uh, watching Blacklist. Not to to take over. I'll, I'll go back to Alex, but. I've been getting caught up on the blacklist on NBC and I haven't finished, but the last episode of that, they wanted to finish the season properly. So they mm. actually animated it. So they yeah. were able to oh. use the actors voices and they animated the the last episode. That's really interesting. Yeah. I'm curious. I haven't got there yet. I think I'm, I'm like one episode away. So I'm curious to see what that looks like. That show lost me early on. I couldn't, I just couldn't get past the premise. Yeah. I, I like James Spader enough that I just keep watching. I, I do too. But at the same time, Robert Kelly. I'd almost go back and watch Boston Legal. Oh fuck yeah, I love Boston Legal. Um, but yeah, the Mythic Quest quarantine episode was great, and it was. It, I think I know what you're saying. It it felt the most like produced. Yeah, um, it didn't just feel like the actors sitting at home chatting through their shitty webcams. Like everything was really clear <clears throat> and crisp, and there was like graphics and other shit that a lot of the other shows didn't have. Like they spent a little bit more time on it which is probably why it came out a little bit later than some of the others yeah um well and it was that, that whole like last scene was great oh yeah but like we, we were just like sitting there watching it like in silence yeah like whoa i didn't expect yeah. this to take this kind of a turn yeah it, it was really impressive to see something that's really so basic something that's basically what we're doing right now yeah see it'd be like you said so well produced but also to have so much emotion and like it was well, I mean, if you, it's one of those things that like none of us here can really even appreciate it to its max because we all have people at home with us yeah, right sure. now. Yeah. And uh, it deals with like when you don't and you're by yourself for so long. And I was like, wow, I didn't expect awesome. it to. Well, I mean, <laughs> to a degree, to a degree. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm home all the time, but 90% just in my car in the garage. <laughs> with it running? Just with the engine oh, yeah. on. <laughs> I know. He's like, why no, is there such I, good ventilation no, in here? No, it's me just staring at that ignition button the whole time. Yeah, like, where should you turn it on? Yeah. Today's the day, pussy. <laughs> <laughs> You're like hitting yourself in the leg like, come on. <laughs> come on. Uh, so that was great. Um, let's see. I watched Onward again. Since we talked about that, Sam and I oh, okay. nice. booted it up a second time. I feel about the same as I did before. Still good. Not my favorite. Not Do the worst. Do you agree with me about Jack Black? Actually, fuck you for ever saying that. Because now <laughs> it's all I think about when I watch that <laughs> yeah. movie. It That's literally was I, all 
that's Sam exactly and I thought what happened it. to me when I first heard it. I'm like Jack Black. The time no, I'm like, dude, it was it was rough. Like rewatching it, like his mannerisms, yeah, yeah. like the way he it's moves like, and like he even yeah. sings a couple times. We were both. I'd be it. I'd be interested to find out if it, like if it was written for him and then they he just couldn't do it or something. I feel like Disney execs were like, no, we need to get Marvel people. Like, oh. right. I, yeah, dude, yeah. we we couldn't not <laughs> see it after you said it we were just like fuck this would have been so much better it would have it, it really yeah, would have been it really would have even with everybody else because i don't think yeah i agree with you that like it's not the strongest cast i think some of the roles are a little bit like eh. Eh. but i think even with everyone else still the same and just him in that role like jack black in that role it would have been yeah. five times yeah better. and then like i said also you know uh tom holland was was fine but i don't think i don't i, I don't think he really brought anything to it no it just there. Yeah, and, and sammy actually asked me she's like well who would you see in that role instead and i was like i was thinking about it and i was like i don't maybe like michael Sarah. oh my like god that. i was gonna say the same thing <laughs> yeah that's that hilarious was, yeah like that because <laughs> then but then i'm like well they did year one together so, right i yeah. know and uh no, they weren't in Orange County together. I take that back. But yeah, they did. No, year that, one was, that was, uh, yeah, uh, Hanks. Yeah. And that was just like, ah. Oh. That's he was hilarious. Like, he's the only but one I could really think of, but it was yeah, kind of like too. a fallback. I was like, yeah. I don't know, maybe him. Yeah. I, I also thought uh, maybe, uh, um, what's his name? He does the voice in um, uh, How to Train Your Dragons. Does Jay. Oh, Jay Baruchel. <laughs> I can't stand his voice, dude. He ruins those really? movies for me. <laughs> I can't stand it. I mean, I feel like he'd probably be better in this. Like, it would be more appropriate for his voice. Yeah. But I feel like he ruins those movies. Yeah. But, yeah. He does his rousing speeches about fighting off Vikings and shit. I'm like, yeah. you sound ridiculous. <laughs> just, like, no one would follow you. Like, I, I don't care that you have a dragon. <laughs> yeah, it'd be him and and then uh, Seth, uh, Seth Rogen doing the old brother. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, right. so yeah, we watched that again. And then for new animated movies, we watched something we hadn't seen, which is Abominable. Oh, yeah. huh. I remember that. Has anyone seen that? I know my kids have seen it. I feel like, I feel like it might've been, I, it might've been on the background, but I don't remember anything about it. That's fine. I actually actively watched it and remember very little as well. It was... <sighs> pretty lackluster i guess they forgettable apparently yeah yeah it's it's not the best i was we were both a little disappointed sam was kind of hoping for the reason we watched onward and abominable is they both deal with like loss of a father and so um the two-year anniversary of her dad passing away was between our last episode and this one and she wanted to just kind of have a day of like reflection and stuff like that and so we watched abominable first and even with that subject matter, she still was kind of like, eh. like it didn't really get her. Like it didn't really hit on the emotional level. The comedy wasn't that great. The animation was good. Um, the like uh, landscapes and shit were really impressive, like really nice looking, but it just was kind of <laughs> like, it wasn't anything special. Yeah. How'd she do with uh, Onward again? Uh, the same scenes that got her last time, got her this time, but it was better. Yeah, she yeah, obviously, yeah, knew it was coming kind of thing. Exactly. Yeah, she was yeah. like bracing for it. And even I was like, here comes that scene. And I would like grab her hand, like, here we go. <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, let's see. Uh, a new movie that I watched it was something called Night Hunter. Um, Night Hunter. So yeah, familiar. I stumbled upon it. And I, I vaguely remember, On not, what? Even a, not even a trailer. Um, I can't remember what service I watched it on. I gen- <laughs> it was like the day after we recorded last. So that was a while ago at this point. And I, I don't remember. Um, Perfect. So go ahead and go and find that and watch it. <laughs> so, go, so, so listener, you yeah. got yourself a little homework to do. Yeah. yeah that's all I got. Enjoy. Um, is, that, is that with Henry Cavill and uh, Ben Kingsley? Yep. The yeah, only reason I watched it on Amazon. Thank you. The only reason that I even clicked on it was because it starred Henry Cavill and yeah. Alexandra Daddario, which is yeah, my like, male like you... and female crush in Hollywood. And I was literally like, this might suck, but fuck it. I get to look yeah. at them for yeah. two hours. Yeah. You, but let's be, let's be fair. You're like, you had me at Henry. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, absolutely. And he's got like a beard and he's all like disheveled in this. I was like, oh man, he's looking great. Um, it's like looking in a mirror. Not not quite as big as like Man of Steel. Yeah. yeah. A beard and disheveled. Yes, that is my yeah, life. That's, um, yeah, we're, I, oh my God, there's Henry right there in the frame. Right I know. Here. See you guys. Now. Really excited to go back and play Superman. Um, but yeah, I know like Alexander Daddario is like yeah, amazing. So I just was like, yep. I'll watch it. And it actually was good. Um, it's a kind of a crime thriller. I know we even talked. Is it talked, new? It's super new. It came out like oh. this year or last year. Um, it's a crime thriller. 2018. Huh? Yeah, there you go. 2018. Yeah. Um, I, I, I don't want to say too much, obviously, because I actually think it is really good and, and worth a watch. But um, it's about... Cavill's a detective. Daddario works at the station with him. And then Ben Kingsley, who you mentioned, is like a former judge who now hunts down and kills like child uh, predators. And their right. paths cross for some reason or another. And it, it, the, the twist is good. And, you know, the, the sort of the mysteries and everything get all solved in cool ways rated and... r i mean there's a bunch of people in this movie it's a ton of fucking stanley people in that tucci movie. minka kelly nathan fillion yep wow there's so many people in this movie that i was like how can i not watch this movie oh cool like it, it was surprising how many huge people yeah. they had and i was like all right and i gave it a shot and i was like that was totally worth it it was a really good movie um cool. not the best but good time you know um right. i think that's mostly it uh something i did want to mention just because i have to otherwise it will never get mentioned on this show video games um well kevin I I thought going but... something more uh <laughs> butt more, sex more current, no. <laughs> more current event no butt sex will get mentioned on the show so video games that i wanted to quickly mention one is actually related to a movie um it's called Predator Hunting Grounds. Oh, yeah. um, and so what it is, is it's a asynchronous shooter. Four people play a, like a platoon of Marines and one person plays the Predator from the Predator movies. Um, mm. And they fight each other. And the Predator can do cool shit like run through trees and turn invisible and has all his abilities. And the humans are kind of just regular humans, but they can like cover themselves in mud and they have all these objectives to complete. So it's basically the beginning of the first Predator movie where Arnie and his squad are like going through that base of yeah. Viet Cong soldiers and doing shit. But like while they were doing that, like if the Predator was hunting them at the same time and they could fight whenever they wanted, that's basically what the game is. Huh, that's and it's cool. officially licensed. So like all the sound effects are there. It's really nice. well done. Like when you're the Marines, you hear the Predator before you see him. Like you'll hear his clicking. Yeah. And then, like, you'll see, like, tree branches fall in the distance. And then, like, a shimmer jumping from one to the other. And it's fucking, like, it's cool, man. Like, if you like the Predator, it's it's totally awesome. What's the gameplay like? It's a first-person shooter if you're a uh, Marine. So, um, very standard. Like, if you've ever played a first-person shooter, yeah. everything is what you'd expect it to be. Like, reload and jump and everything else. Um, guaranteed to die. Yeah. Yeah. And then the if you separate from your squad, then fuck yeah, dude, the predator will pick you off hard. But um, if you stay together, you have a chance, which is it's a really cool mechanic. And the predator is in third person because he does some acrobatic shit, and you need to kind of be able to see what he's doing. Um, mm -hmm. But you can customize your predator. You can choose like which weapons to take. Like he's got the throwing disc and the spear and his blades and his oh, shoulder nice. cannon. But you can only take like so much, or else it would be like super unfair. Um, and the Marines can choose their weapons. Like it's, it's really cool that it, there's only one thing you do. You're either a Marine or a predator and you try to kill each other essentially, but it's a, it's a good time. Cause every single time you play it, it's different because every person playing the predator is a real person. So they do different shit. Some of them will just jump out of the trees and run at you like an idiot and you just fucking blast at them. But other ones are like really meticulous. Like they'll lock one of your guys with like a net gun. And like, while you're trying to get them out, they'll like kill someone else and then run away. Like it's really fucking cool. So can you play this like on your own or do you have to play with other people? Online only. Because the three uh, people need to be real people and the predator needs to be a real person. Hmm. Um, so it is cool. with and against real folk. You can do like so, training modes and custom games by yourself, but it's not as fun. Okay. Oh. So but we yeah. just download, download it on one of your systems? It's on PlayStation and uh, PC. Yeah. 
Um, and it's cool. actually cheaper than real, like most games. It's only like 30 or 40 bucks instead of 60. So it's fun. Um, cool. And then I've just been playing Red Dead because we keep talking about it. <laughs> He's still fishing. But I'm playing Red Dead Online, which I don't think anyone else has touched. It's I, where you got, I haven't messed yeah. with it. Uh, yeah. It's I, so I, good. It's so, it? so good. Yeah. Like it's, I have come to like it more than like the story. Really? Because your cowboy or girl is whatever you want them to be. You can take on like a bunch of different jobs. Like there's bounty hunting, there's treasure hunting. There's like, you can create and manage your own moonshine saloon. You can, uh, there's like a ton of shit you can do online and all the shit that's in single player works. Like you can fish and you can hunt and you can just go into a town and literally kill everybody in the cops. Can you expand? You. Can you go any further than, uh, than what the map was for red dead two? No, but the whole map is available right at the beginning. So like, it's not locked off. Like it, it Red Dead 2, since you've played it all the way through now, you know that the bottom half of the map is like the first game's map. Yeah, yeah, that's why. Yeah. That's but what you I mean. can't you can't really go there for most of the game until the end. But right. in online, you can literally go to the whole map right away from top right to bottom left, like at any point. Hmm. Um, all the towns are there. There's a story like you're a convict who gets broken out of prison by this woman who's trying to get revenge for her husband. So there's missions like. It, there's oh, a bunch cool. of shit to do. It's really cool. Does it the cost only problem... anything to do online? No. If you have PlayStation no, it's, yeah, Online, it's you just boot it up. Uh, you, and the... Have you seen the thing where people, instead of doing Zoom meetings, were, were running meetings on, uh, on Red Campfire Dead online? Yeah. Uh, that's, uh, that's pretty cool. I like that. Yeah. The only downside, and this is something that I don't think any of you would enjoy, and I don't enjoy it either, is because it's online, there's other people roaming the world, and they can just come up and just kill you if they want. You can kill them too. Yeah. But like sometimes you'll just be like skinning a deer and some guy will come up and just fucking shotgun you in the back of the head. And you're like, what the fuck, bro? Like, <laughs> like, so that's, 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 but it adds kind of to like the but, wild west mentality yeah. a little bit. And but then, then you, you start over. When what do you there? just, do you just respawn? Oh, you respawn like within <laughs> okay. a 500 foot radius. And then, and then they're like a red blip on your radar instead of blue. Cause they're bad now. And then you can uh, go after them with no consequence, which is kind of cool. Cause they killed you first. So, oh, yeah, you can, you can go you can go fuck them up if you want. Oh, I would be glad. Oh, oh yeah. every time. Cool. If someone kills me, I'm like, you're fucking dead. Like oh, I, I whatever uh, I was doing, I was like, this deer doesn't matter anymore. I'm going after you, and that's it. Yeah, I I'm, finished the game. I'm I'm like I said, I'm 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 uh I'm probably about uh two thirds of the way through now. Through your second, second playthrough? Time. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, but I'll definitely check that out. That sounds fun. I mean, it's cool, man. You create your own guy or gal. They don't talk, which is the only bad part, but there's still cut scenes and story and stuff. So they're like a mute cowboy or cowgirl. Can you, can, if if we were playing at the same time, would we, it would, it would be, I guess we could be able to find, find a way yeah. to meet up. I actually yeah. have a posse and you could join oh, really? my posse and then we could roll around <laughs> together. That's hilarious. Because so otherwise not, I could kill servers? you. There are. So that's the nice thing is because the world is only so big. It's not like everyone in the world playing it is in one place because then there'd just be people all over the fucking place. They limit it <coughs> to, I think it's 20 or 24 people um, per the whole map. So they could be anywhere oh, at wow. any time. And the nice thing is, is they don't show up on your radar until you're close. So someone can't just go like there's a blip Hunt on the down. map. It's a player. I'm going to go kill that person because I'm a dick. Like if they're riding around and they see you close, they're like, okay, there's a player. But for the most part, most people are pretty chill. Um, and the people who aren't, usually most people who are chill, I'll just team up and start fucking killing them a bunch. And then they eventually run away because they're just getting destroyed. So it's a good time. If you want well, more Red Dead, it's more Red Dead, you know? Who doesn't want more Red Dead? Exactly. He, he just needs another play. excuse to not play The Last of Us. That's, That's all he's looking for right now. It's Don't play Red Dead Online. It's bad. Play The Last of Us instead. <laughs> What's The Last of Us? God Shut the fuck it. up. <laughs> uh, the hemorrhoids. No, I downloaded. Water on my computer. Well, uh, well, here's the thing. <laughs> I, I have. I still have Assassin's Creed to finish. No, uh, I still have Metal Gear basically to, to begin. Which Metal Gear? Uh, I don't know. It, it was I, Phantom Pain. Is it for PlayStation 4? Is it for your current yeah. console? It's Phantom yeah. Pain. Okay. Uh, That's another 40-hour game. Yeah, it's a big <laughs> and then ass I, game. And then I downloaded the, the those free ones that you, you're you talking about. Yeah, um, Uncharted. Uncharted. <laughs> oh, yeah. 
Yeah. Those are Make great. Sure you get- like if Make- if you don't play The Last of Us, at least fucking play Uncharted. Those games are awesome. Make sure you don't miss out on your free game this month, which is Farming Simulator 19. No, nope, that's over. That's oh, good. Over. Oh, no, no, there's still two days garbage. that. Uh, <laughs> but this uh, Battlefront 2, Star Wars Battlefront 2, yeah. is June, and there was one other... How is that? Is that good? No, it's, but it's Star Wars. <laughs> it's fun. Like, yeah, if you like Star Wars, it's fun. It's not mind-blowing. Uh, they, <sighs> but they just, they just released their last update the battle for scarif which is rogue one right he won't play he won't play the online stuff though he'll just play the, the story i don't think yeah, maybe right here guys he won't do it yeah, he won't <laughs> guys <laughs> hello <laughs> is, is this on <laughs> uh, all right so yeah i did a lot of shit i um, guess so well i didn't do yeah. anything actually but i did a lot of shit in front of the tv Right. You were first. Yeah. Yep. All right, Kevin. Yeah, I'll so go. I'll, I'll that's be been our show. Did Thanks everybody anything? for tuning in. <laughs> uh, well, since since we're we're coming off of, of gaming from Alex, I, I'm still playing Assassin's Creed Odyssey. <laughs> I, I probably and you will today, be for the rest of week. your life. Uh, I, I, I'm yeah. at the point where I may actually just stop playing because it's it really is so repetitive. You're, um, you're getting there though. Cause I know what you told me was the last thing that you did. Yeah. I'm, I'm in now I'm in chapter three of the Atlantis DLC, which is the last DLC after that. It's over. Right. Um, you might as well do it now. Yeah. 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 But that I, would be it, your, you two thirds of the way through. That would make sense. He's well, like, two, no, I'm two thirds of the way through the extra of part. 100th. Yeah. Uh, of the way so through. yeah. So but you finish like, all the main sh- shit, right? Oh yeah. A long time ago. Yeah, so you're fine. Um, so yeah, so finish the main story. The main story just kind of ends. It's really weird. Uh, it was just like, yeah, cool. That's that's that. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I'm like at the hundred hour mark, I think, as of today, on that game, mm-hmm. which is a little bit of time. Um, so don't fucking oh god, like you haven't played, you're not on your second playthrough of Red Dead. Yeah, yeah. but like uh, uh, like an hour and a half at a time. <laughs> don't, that's don't. why it's taken him a year. Don't <laughs> yeah. don't. Don't. Although I gotta say, I I start I finished it at the at, you know in the first like two weeks ago. two weeks of of this pan of this quarantine yeah and then I started it over and I'm almost through it so that's yeah. pretty good for me yeah um, but then back to TV um, you know I, I I am caught up now on uh, Killing Eve um, which you watch all three seasons. Well, I watched the first two seasons a long time ago. So I, I was, as far oh. as that goes, I was caught up. Uh, there's only one episode left in this season, which is season three. Um, oh, that hasn't come out yet? Yeah, so there's still one more to go. Oh, um, okay. But this season's not bad. I, I think the first season was still the best season. Um, yeah. I just watched, we just finished season two. We just did the first episode of season three tonight. Yeah. Yeah, and I mean, I can't help but love the character. Like Villanelle is just she fucking makes me laugh all the time. Uh, I yeah, I I have to agree. She she's worth watching. Yeah, and uh, so I mean that show's been pretty good. Um, I feel like there's other stuff that I watch that I don't really remember. Like a little bit of network television and get caught up on some stuff there. Um, when the kids are around, uh, one thing we watch when it that just came back is World of Dance. Um, if you've seen that, like there's a bunch of dance competitions out there that are a little, um, less professional. And this one's like top tier, like they're like actual people that have already won things and they're coming together to do this competition. Um, and, uh, and and when you watch good dancing, it's like watching something that you you know, you can't do. So it's really impressive. Uh, uh, you know, like you, you watch it and you're just like, fuck, these people make this look easy and I could never do it. Right. Um, and so it's kind of impressive. And, and this is like, these people are actually like really good. It's not like, uh, so you think you can dance or something like that, where you've got people auditioning and maybe they're okay or maybe not. I dude, I disagree. I like, so you think you can dance more than world of dance. Cool. So no oh, oh, I watch, oh, I oh, them. Dance oh, here we go. Off. Here Strap we go. Here we go. Folks. Strap yeah. in. Yeah, dance yeah. off. You two go. Yeah. Uh, no, I think I, I just I feel like I feel like World of Dance is overproduced in some ways. I I feel the same way about the impressiveness of the of the dancing, 
and how it, how they are, they tend to be a little more top tier dancers as opposed to people who just auditioned. But I just feel like all of the 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 way they do the judging and and all the graphs and all that actually take away from the rest of it. So you think dance tends to be just like your standard competition show that highlights the actual dancer and the dancer doing just a little more. Yeah, see, I don't agree with that. Kevin, your rebuttal. Yeah, yeah I, I think. <laughs> I think and you're stupid. (laughs) I mean, I'm arguing with Pete, so we know who's right. Um, I know. (laughs) The mere fact that he argued it, like I, I already put it in my queue. Yeah. Uh, No, I. And I I hate dance shows. Yeah, I mean they're both good for different reasons, but I mean when when you watch just the the quality of of the dance in in the world of dance, it's just impressive. It's just crazy. Uh, Like the Jabberwockies, if you remember them. Yeah, I've been on there. Well, that was so you think you can dance though. No, that no, was America's Best no. Dance Crew. Oh, America's Best. That's right. Yeah, sure. That's that's the, a, the third Mario show. Lopez that. hosted thing. Yeah, and that hasn't yeah. been on for a while. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but anyways, uh, that just started, so I've only watched <laughs> one episode of this season. I think um, Opie's passing away right now. Right. Like, Jesus <laughs> Christ. The Jabberwockies are fucking. Sick. Jabberwockies are fucking incredible. Yeah. Yeah. They weren't even the best ones on that season though. That's the thing. Like they so, won. Yeah. They didn't win a World of Dance though. No, but they won saying, America's on, Best Dance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So on World of Dance, they weren't even the best ones on their season. So wow. like that yeah. tells you like the level of talent. So shut up. <laughs> You'll get your turn. Uh, but anyways, anyways. So the, the one thing of breathing all loud and in the mic <laughs> of note that I watched was uh, I started watching the new Snowpiercer series on TNT. Yeah. Uh, and yeah. Uh, I, I I'll be honest, I'm really on the fence about it. <laughs> I like any sense. I like uh, I like the V Diggs a lot. Uh, the guy that plays the main character, he's from Hamilton. He plays um, uh, uh, Hamilton Thomas on Jefferson. Broadway. Yeah, yeah. He plays. He played in uh, in the original cast recording of Hamilton. He played Thomas Jefferson. Oh. Uh, oh. And so he, I mean, he's really talented. He's really good in it. Isn't um, Jennifer, Jennifer Connelly in that? Too? Yeah, Jennifer Connelly's yeah. in it. Uh, but they took Snowpiercer, and this is a prequel, so it takes place before the movie with Chris Evans. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's what a prequel. And they. Uh, they turned it into uh, uh, like it's it's a like cop drama basically. With you still have the drama of the poor people at the back of the train and the rich people at the front of the train, all that. Uh, but he is one of the poor people that got onto the train. Uh, but it turns out he used to be a cop, and mm. they don't have any real cops at the front of the train, which is kind of silly because they've got a whole train full of people. Yeah. Um, uh, but they need him to investigate this murder. Um, and then, so now it's just kind of like a cop drama, which is like what we talked about last week, how everything is like this almost kind of formulaic cop drama. Yeah. Um, so I, I, I kind of wish it didn't have that aspect to it. Cause I think it would be more interesting than everything else that's on TV right now. Uh, but the acting's good. Uh, they, they avoid really special effects. Um, mm. so every now and then they show the outside of the train and it doesn't look that great. Uh-huh. Um, but then uh, everything that happens inside the car is practical effects and sets and things like that. And it looks a lot better. Um, But I mean, it's worth checking out if you don't, uh, I mean, I don't hate it. I don't think it's terrible. It's just, it it doesn't feel all that original other than the setting that it's in. Right. Um, Like they almost were just like, let's just find somewhere unique and then do the same shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah and, and there is a little more to it. I mean, there is more of that Snowpiercer storyline uh, behind it, but it's still, you know, hmm. kind of like if you watch The Outsider, you had, you know, this supernatural background, but it was still a cop show. Yeah. So it, it's it's interesting. I'm waiting for the third episode to drop so I can get a little more into it. But. Okay. Hmm. But yeah, that's about it for me. Oh, and I watched, uh, with the kids, we watched, uh, shit, what did I have them watch? Fuck, now I forgot. Uh, <laughs> All right. Yeah, 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 fuck, it. Awesome. fuck it. Screw them, stupid kids. This show is for kids. <laughs> like it's their fault. <clears throat> yeah, fuck them. They don't appreciate me anyway. Um, <laughs> That's true. That's true. Well, I can segue from that train, uh, your train show, because um, uh, me and the wife finished up. Thomas the... Tank Engine? Se- fuck. <laughs> Did I already did I already tell you that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
All right. Well, that, that, that's it for me. <laughs> you know, Way to ruin you know it, the guy who narrates that just died. I just saw his name in the headlines. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. That's... Which is funny because I, I, my kids actually did watch that show growing up. My my oldest more than my youngest, but um, so I watched a lot of those episodes. But half of them are narrated by some English dude who died. And the mm-hmm. other ones were narrated by Alec Baldwin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. what? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Al- Alec, Alec Baldwin's Baldwin. got a got a has a later season, like because for a while, yeah, like George Carlin did this whole live action thing and narrated some of it back in like the like I think it's the late nineties, early two thousands, or something like that. And then they had like a check, British you know? guy, and then George Carlin, Alec Baldwin. Yeah, Carlin played like the conductor at the train station. Oh, 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 oh. I thought I was thinking of the narrator. Oh yeah, no, 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 no. Yeah, there, yeah, there, yeah, there were in. there were a couple that he narrated. Oh, gotcha. Mm-hmm. Well, anyways, um, back to what you want. Yeah, uh, me and the wife watched the um, Sodor the, bitch. the uh, new show Run on HBO. Hmm. Okay, it's uh, it was. I don't. It looks like it's an ongoing series, but this was just uh, obviously the debut series. Um, the only folks I think you would really know from it are, uh, what's his name? Dom Hall Gleason. Mm-hmm. Dom Hall Gleason, yeah. Is that how you, General how Hux you say his name? From General Hux, yeah. yeah. Dominal? Dom Hall? It's like Whatever. Domnal or something yeah. weird. Yeah. And then uh, Merritt Weaver. Yeah. Um, so she's, she's been around. Yeah, She was in uh, Nurse Jackie is where I know her best. Yeah, she was the, the fun nurse on Nurse Jackie. She was also yeah. in... Uh, uh the the one with the cop godless she was also in oh godless. yeah that's right she was in godless that's supposed to be really good i didn't watch that but that's supposed to be really that was good, good. Mm-hmm. um uh, but anyway unbelievable so, um this uh basically the premise of the show uh um, yeah, she's on studio 60 it says two ex-lovers activate a long planned escape to uh disappear together so basically the i think in the preview even showed you know um one of them gets a text from the other and it just says run. And then if you text back run, then you you have this plan where you need, you're gonna meet at a certain place at a certain time, but it's like now kind of thing. So basically they're ex, you know, they're, they're exes that meet up and it, they're on a train basically. That's all, most of the show is on a train as they're going from the East Coast, I think to Los Angeles. Um, it's an interesting story. They kind of, you know, obviously unexpected occurrences happen and this and that, and they don't really, you, you find, you come to find out that they don't keep up with each other at all when they're, they're living their separate lives. This is just kind of like a, you know, kind of like a, almost like a parachute kind of, uh, you know, pact that they have together. But, it's like um, that thing that people always say, if we're still single when we're 35, we should get married kind of thing. In a sense, but more yeah. like, like if, if, you know, if if you want to escape or you want to get out, I'm I want to get out right now. Do you want to get out? Kind of thing. But anyway, so that, that so you're kind of learning that as you're watching the show. As far as you know, they don't know anything really about each other, and so they start are learning some things, and things are coming out. Um, it was it was an interesting show. I want to say it's only like seven episodes, um, so it wasn't a, you know very long, and I, I think like might be half an hour each or 40 40 minutes or something something like that but it's you know so it's easy to get through uh well acted it was um some really good stuff if you like merit weaver i do i I like her her stuff a lot you know um you'll like her in this then probably um and then i like gleason too i like what he does um but uh he put you know seen him in you know star wars you've seen him in peter rabbit uh you know you know harry potter so you see all these kind of different sides of them. So it's, it's, he does a good job in this as well. So um, for first season, it's interesting. It ended very uh, abruptly mm. for, and it, and you, if you watch it, you'll, you'll know what I mean when I say that, you know, it's not like the show just ended abruptly. Like what What's going on? Just the way the story, you know, especially since it looks like it's something where it'll be a, you know, another season based off of, you know imdb but um it'll be interesting where they go from there based on how they ended it so cool yeah so run was good um and then we just finished up um on apple tv plus defending jacob 
with um, Chris Evans, Michelle Dockery, who's also in Godless with uh, mm-hmm. Barrett Weaver. Um, and uh, yeah, the, the show about uh, their their 15 year old son is accused of murdering a, a classmate and you know, that whole thing. So uh, that was a, that was a pretty good show. I mean, it, it, uh, it, it really kind of started twisting near the end because I think early on in the last episode, you, you know, you reached the, the climax and mm-hmm. so like, you, you know, and you know, although, you know, everything that falls out, you know, the whole, you, everything comes together. Um, so then, but then there's like, you know, 40 minutes of episode left. And so it was kind of interesting, like, where are they going to go with, with this? Mm. And they really kind of, you know, um, you know, stoke the fire of that, of the story. Cause there's uh, an underlining, you know, uh, scene throughout every episode where it's Chris Evans basically giving a deposition or, you know, answering questions from oh. this lawyer that, you know, through, you know, who was, the uh, assistant DA in his son's case, you know, trying his son for, for murder. And, you know, it, it, it's just very interesting, and, but you don't know why he's there and you know, and he's basically telling the story of, of what happened with the case and all that. Kind of like stuff. true detective in season one where they're like in a sense, in yeah, the future it, talking about shit in the past sort of a thing. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Very similar. Yeah. Very similar. Is this um, a show that gets a second season or is it just a one-off? Uh, I don't know how they, I, I, I it's gotta be a one-off because I don't know how you would continue on with it, given the premise of the, of the show, you know, um, you know, I don't want to give anything away cause it's, it's yeah. still pretty new, but, um, I mean, <laughs> it'd be comical. It is, it, it, it's the only way it, it, you know, maybe later if we can, uh, we should do like, a after, after we talk about a show for the first time, we'll give it like a month and then I, we, we can do spoilers about it or something. Cause yeah. Yeah. We, we should have a pitch meeting on what, what do you do with season <laughs> two? After you watch this. That'd be Sounds actually good. pretty awesome. That'd be a lot of fun, for, yeah. especially for a show that we know is a one-off. <clears throat> yeah. The pitch season two as pitch season two. Yeah. Um, uh, well, what else? Um, I think that's about it. I've been watching, you know, I've been watching, I've been, or uh, I don't know how I got onto it either. I on YouTube reaction videos of people watching the uh, uh, Star Wars: The Rise of Skywalker trailer for the first time. Oh, and people watching the end of the Rogue One trailer when Vader appears. Oh, the movie. Yeah, just, it, it, the trailer for that. Uh, it's, it's, la- it's just funny. It's just funny how you know. <laughs> Yeah, you know, so but I watch. I don't know why. I just want to watch a lot of reaction videos. That's why I kind of just zone out on on uh, YouTube at night. That's cool. When I should be playing games, I guess. I guess the well, last yeah. of us. You should. The second one comes out in less than a month. Yes, it does. It's twenty days away, my friend. So, oh, yeah. and speaking of stuff like that, if uh, iTunes has a lot of uh, good bundles and deals right now on, on yeah. movies. <clears throat> I need to take advantage of some of those that you guys sent. Yeah. Uh, yeah my problem probably. is I already have most of those like, yeah. or like in the bundle, there'll be like five for, you know, 20 bucks. I'm like, yeah, I already got like three of them. Yeah. I did today, but, uh, but what we do in the shadows, the show or the movie, the, the movie? movie. Okay, cool. So I figure I'm going to start with that and then I'll go watch the show. I got one of That's my friends to watch it. The, she's enjoying right it, way so. to do it. Yeah. I figured, I figured it would, it, Makes sense to have that. Is it on Prime? Uh, it the movie? was not when I searched for it. Oh, I thought it was. I know it was up for a while. I don't remember. What I think service. that's when I. I think it's how I first watched it. Was okay. Prime. Either way, I think it's worth owning. It's a good movie. The show is so good. I can't praise it enough, dude. It's so fucking funny. That's it. Yeah, we'll see. I'll find out. We'll see. <laughs> All right, oh no, B. you will. What have you been watching? I didn't really watch much this week. And a half. Because you didn't have any internet? Is it because you didn't have any internet? <laughs> you couldn't watch any? Only, only in the last uh, couple of days. How did you, how, seriously, it's like, I don't know. 
I, I think one of my kids would probably be, de- be dead by now if our internet went out for 48 hours. It was hours. A, yeah, yeah, it was a, uh, it was a rough couple of days. You're like, here's a puzzle. Yeah, yeah. there's a, <laughs> like, a lot of, <laughs> yeah. yeah, they're like, how am I supposed to put this together if I can't Google it? Yeah, welcome to 1856. Yeah. <laughs> right, it was like, it was like quarantine meets the fucking Oregon Trail. Yeah, you might as well just shut off the power too, right? I yeah. Mean, what's the fucking Which one of them died from a rattlesnake bite? Yeah. How <laughs> we all have dysentery. Of the flies. We're getting over it. Which one of yeah. you fjorded <clears throat> the river? Which tire broke on your wagon? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so uh, I need two. Yeah, I need new wagon of, tongue. Out of internet. So, so what did you watch on your phone? <laughs> oh, nothing, because I have shitty cell service. It was bad. I read books actually. Yeah, get off the show. Yeah, what? Uh, what I'm yeah, sorry, books? you mean comic books, right? <laughs> well, the, yeah. okay. So some of them were graphic, graphic novels. Graphic novels. Yeah, there you go. Chronicles of the greatest heroes of our time. <laughs> well, that's actually so one of the one of the. <laughs> no, I went back and watched that. Uh, I read. Uh, that's not the Dark first Knight time you said that. No, it actually is. <laughs> Just came. Uh, can't be. It can't be. Oh. All right. Sorry, Pete. Go ahead. <laughs> no, yeah. So I, uh, I read Dark Knight Returns, the Frank Miller Batman oh. graphic novel. And so actually when I got internet back, one of the first things I did was go to HBO Max. I pulled that down now just to see what that was about. There's a lot of shit on that. Yeah. There they got is. all the Harry Potter the, movies. Yeah. There's yeah, like, and the way, shit. actually the way they kind of organized it, is is done pretty well compared to some of the others. Like if if you go to like the NBC app, it'll give you like also NBC Bravo, eight, like you know the entire history or the entire family of channels. But a lot of them are really clunky. This one's actually mm-hmm. kind of smooth in the way it kind of groups the families together. Um, so you've got everything on HBO. You've got everything. Well, not eh, you've got the. It's odd because you actually have the stuff that plugs the holes in the DC app. And the content that's available on there. That's true. There's some, some of the stuff from DC's on there. So Doom Patrol's on there, which is supposed exactly. to be really good. Uh, I've heard I've got I've heard good stuff about that. that I may watch it on next. I think I, I canceled the D, regular DC app after I finished Harley Quinn because it's just yeah. not. Anyway, um, but yeah, this chock full of stuff. But it made me actually go and if you haven't watched the uh, the animated Dark Knight Returns, where they the, oh yeah, um, I remember they did that. That, yeah, they took it, and it looks just like the comic book. Yeah. It's done really, really well. It's in two parts, really worth watching if you haven't ever watched it. Um, but that's that's about it. I'm kinda, Dude had a week and a half. New content for, yeah. yeah, but you didn't have internet. For part of it, yeah. I made up for all the shit you didn't watch. Yeah, that's true. You watch a lot. In in other news, in other really good news for probably only Pete, um, Charlie's Angels is going to be on Hulu next month. Oh, the new Charlie's Angels. Don't let him. Oh, the new one. The new one. Oh, I'm watching. Uh, I'm I'm going to watch it it on Hulu. Hell yeah! Just to see exactly how bad you made me watch the room. Nothing. Nothing can be as bad. So I'm. No, I remember no. the the trailer. Yeah, yeah there's yeah, a difference there. That. Like the room was just uh, is is magical and it's in its, its horribleness. horribleness. Yeah. Well, yeah, Charlie's yeah. Angels looks like shit, but there's cute girls in it, so that's all. That's a plus. Yeah, yeah that's true. That what was that? Kristen Stewart, Jasmine, and the other girl. <laughs> and the other and one. The other yeah. Girl. And the yeah. other one. <laughs> all right. Well. Um, I guess should we take a break and then uh, we'll come back and talk about our top five 2010 comedies or 2010s to comedies. present. Yeah. yeah. See 2010 if, uh, to nows. I wonder if we have uh, any overlap. I'm sure we, we all I'm have sure the exact same five. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, that, that was short. Five minutes. Yeah. Got all it. right. We all agree. It's in the same order too. Shit. All right. <laughs> all right. Well, uh, we'll be back in few minutes i wonder is is i didn't watch or or, or um anything but was alex's thing uh gonna be in the in the middle of this one too is his oh well, no we'll do, we'll do every single Kev, episode Kev, of the now video. kevin will do one tonight oh cool kevin you're gonna do one tonight that's not true so, so here here's kevin 
Uh, um, <laughs> Don't worry, it'll sell, be Alex. Sell on the I, show. I know well, the guy that edits edit the video, so I know the guy that has, edits the video, so it will definitely. Somebody be. on this show will be giving you, there you information go. about the show in just a second. Somebody named Alex. Yeah, All right, I'll help you. Uh, if they whoa, want, whoa, to, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> No one, well, no one helped, no me. helped me last week. Fuck that's that, true. Alex, because we respect your talent. Yeah, I, we uh, didn't want to. It's not helping you. If anything, it's it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's hindering you. I don't even know what we're saying. <laughs> it's simple. Just guy go and look in the camera. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Thanks for downloading. Yeah. yeah. Hey guys. <laughs> What's up, guys? Thanks for listening. Thanks for downloading. Yeah, bro. This yeah, no, man. Podcast. Knuckles. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't even know what I'm doing. Welcome to the All Pop No Culture ASMR. Sorry, Kevin. Go ahead and uh, if you want to go ahead and give the listeners ways to contact us. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening <laughs> to the All Pop No Culture podcast. Our hours of operation are fucking whenever Pete has internet. Huh? You can reach us by phone at 925-400-8457. <laughs> you can reach us by email at allpopnoculturepod at gmail.com. <laughs> Alex is starting to wig out a little bit. <laughs> He's going a little crazy. Oh, then you can find us on the web at www.allpopnoculture.com. You can find us on all major streaming platforms, including what? Spotify, Stitcher. <gasps> really? Both of them? That's it? Awesome. Yeah, the podcast app on iTunes. All right. I think you could probably work with that, I imagine. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Can piece it together. Anyways, let's get this fucking show on the road. All right. Well, we're back, I guess. And uh, we took a look back over the last 10 years of comedies and tried to pick out our top five. And um, I don't remember how this came about, but uh, at the oh, time... I do. Oh, I do. Oh, how did it come about? Uh, just I had just seen it. like uh, some top 10 lists of comedies in the last 10 years. Oh. And I was just thought they were horrible lists. Like I was looking at them and I was like, these movies are were not good mm. and so that's when i i brought to you guys so we should come up with our own lists because we are obviously smarter than these people we'll find uh, out <laughs> we'll find out um all right and so um first off who, who actually made a list did we, did we all make I a did. list yeah. yeah i didn't okay. number it but i have a did. list so um how many would you say are on your list i have five just five I have, I have a couple honorable mentions, but I, 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 I made sure a bunch to keep of honorable mentions. Yeah, I, I've got like 11 on my list as far as like movies that I was trying to figure, like choose from, yeah. but I do have like a top five. Way to follow I've, the rules, guys. Well, well I, 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 I do I, have a top five. When I when I first looked at, at, the, at the movies, you know, labeled comedy during, you know, 2010 to 2020, um, I realize I'm going to have to just start writing down the ones that a I've seen and two yeah. I agree are, are comedies. And so I have a, I have a list of 19. That's how many oh. movies I, I like I thought of or remembered uh, just off the top of my head. And then like, you know, um, looking at maybe a couple lists just to refresh my memory of what was in that period. But uh, I'm pretty sure I covered them all in that 19 um so that's just shy of about two a year um which uh uh i don't know a lot of these you know so and huh. i am sure there I, there's argument for for more but i out of these i i i definitely can find i know my number one for sure um that wasn't really uh the tough one but the other ones i could kind of you know go in different directions so um, if someone has a top five for sure, why don't, uh, why don't you go first 
and then I can start. Um, I got I got a I got a top five. I got I mean I've got a okay. list of damn twenty like you did that I had to like peel out and there's a yeah. like a ton of honorable mentions that like that's why like my number five is actually a tie. I couldn't like for me these two were just like right there. So wouldn't second. it be number four? <clears throat> no, well, this I've got, be four I've got four five. Two. No, this is just this is five. So you have two six movies in your top five? Yeah. I have six so movies in my two, top you five. Have, so you have two number fives? Yeah. Because you, you you seriously could not decide between these two movies. They're like these are both number fives. That's for damn sure. Yep. This is like number, like number one, but number five. So let me ask you this: If this was a top ten, which one would be five? And which one? They'd would still be, be tied. They'd still be tied for five. No nope. bullshit. No, no. <laughs> take, no. <laughs> that's not how numbers no, work. If, if if we did if we did ten, I could I could clear it out that way because then let, I let, let me guess what they are. Can I can I guess what they are? Sure. Deadpool one and two. Nope. <laughs> oh, okay. That's a good didn't, guess. Did, actually didn't even make my top five because I'm not counting those. Of as course, comedies. it didn't because they're brilliant. <laughs> You're not counting those as comedies. All right. No, what's, what, what's, your number, what, what's your number? What's your number six? My number six, uh, no, it's, t- it's, it's a tie. It's between Tag and Instant Family. I, I, tag and Instant Family. Yeah. Woo. Tag okay, is... Okay, hold on. <laughs> I'm glad he's tag going first. Oh. Absolutely hilarious. And Instant Family, if you haven't watched it, you need to. I have watched it. It's fucking hilarious. <laughs> and you actually, I actually Damn. enjoyed Mark Wahlberg in it. Oh, he's in it? I'm out. That's yeah, how you no, know it's no, a comedy. Ro- Rose Instant Byrne is family, great. It, it, Instant Family wasn't bad. But man, top five? Ooh. Can't wait to hear me. Yeah. Four to one. Cannot wait for four yeah. to one. All right. So we'll he's actually, I actually have so three Instant number family, threes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have a six way tie for number two. So, so <laughs> the, the, only, the only thing I could see now. Why those would tie each other is because they both are comedies with like a heartwarming, feel good, you know, feeling at the end of them. Yeah, that's no, that's that's exactly what what I loved about both of them. <coughs> they were nice. Right. There's, there's, I mean, there's, there's a lot that is not on my list that I know we're probably going to be on your guys' list. That just the, the I loved them. They just didn't the resonate with uh, the same uh, way. Comedies, yeah. right? Exactly. Okay. Um, and, and at number four is it. No, um. It, <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, no, it's 2016. 2016's Nice Guys with Ryan Gosling and the Nice Guys. Um, That's funny. That's, yeah. uh, I have that. I wrote, I wrote that down. That's I funny. thought that was really, really good. It didn't get a lot of heat, but it was, it was yeah. fun. Me and the wife just actually, I, I had just uh, rewatched it, and then me and the wife just rewatched it again. Uh, yeah, I think that's a, that's a good one. It's funny. Uh, number three, Bad Words. Jason Bateman, Catherine Hahn. That's a he's, good one. That's uh, he goes back to this spelling bee mm-hmm. thing. He goes back and he's trying to win like the national spelling bee. It's well, it's not the national yeah, spelling bee, but it's some spelling one. bee. Um, I and number two is this is forty. Absolutely love that movie. We all freeze. No, I'm waiting for something. I like I like this is forty. I, uh, yeah, it knocked up with better. Yep. Yeah. yeah, that that's why I think that stayed out of my top five, um, or even really near it, because because uh, you know when I compare it to knocked up, I just think knocked up is a yeah. lot better. Yeah, I like I like this is forty. I like the I thought it was a little. I, I felt like it, it didn't know where the story was going for a little bit of it, mm-hmm. but yeah. Oh yeah. No, it did me okay. a little bit. It, it, no, I absolutely well, okay. and what's, I, your, what's your number one, my number one. What do you think it is? Fuck. Uh, what, what was that latest PB that came out on Netflix? Nope. <laughs> is it, uh, was it, uh, Aladdin? Horrible bosses. <laughs> nope. Twenty fourteen's Chef with John Favreau 
and John Leguizamo as as the as your most favorite comedy in, in the, the last, last ten years. years. Yes, above Bridesmaids, Which, above this. You know what a comedy? Well, it's Creek, such a list. You know what a comedy is. Above Jesus Neighbors, Christ, Chef made my Chef exist. made my honorable mentions list because I don't think of it as a flat out comedy. No way. But it uh-uh. was humorous, like it had its moments. So it did make my honorable mentions list. It did not make my top five. Although I do yeah, really like that movie. I just yeah, enjoyed, I like the movie. I wouldn't look at it as a comedy though. I enjoyed those more than any of the other comedies on the list. I liked everything else. I have, like I said, I have, I've got bridesmaids on here, um, hot tub time machine. This is the end. Get him to the Greek world's end. Uh, I don't give them all away, homie. Chill out. There's I know, still more of us. There's like yeah, yeah. <laughs> fifteen other movies to go. <laughs> Yeah, go start naming all the good ones now. Let us do it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You saved them for us. Yeah. Now he's going to fucking yeah. take them for his Thank, own. Thanks for, yeah. yeah, I remember in the beginning, I was wondering if any of us, any of us would have any overlap. Um, so far, nope. I actually <laughs> don't think I've seen any of the movies on your list. <laughs> yeah. Well, like, they're not, not kidding. I, all, of, all those movies, I, I, I think they're good movies are not you know i just wouldn't look at them as like comedies as far as like yeah when i think of a comedy oh this is one you gotta see yeah mm-hmm. chef, I see. chef is a great movie I just, it's just like when i think yeah. of outright comedy that's not what i think yeah. of nope <clears throat> but it makes a lot of sense doesn't it after you kind of like think of uh, whose list this is like okay i get it i get it a little bit a little bit all right well let's um let's uh who wants to go next I think I'm the only other one with like an actual five list. Is that true? Okay. Yeah, I think so. That I believe so. Well, I don't. I keep <clears> adding. <throat> actually, I'm up to thirty-two. Jesus. He's <laughs> yeah, like, I, I just, I'm, I keep going. By the time uh, this is over, 154 <laughs> movies. <laughs> yeah, buckle up, everybody. Here we go. Yeah. Um. So yeah, I I didn't put these in order, but I can right now. It's actually not too hard for me to do. Um, I think. Brag much? I know, right? Hey, well, yeah. you know what? Sorry, Goodwill Hunting didn't realize we were doing math today. Sorry, yeah. go ahead. <laughs> uh, number five for me, and this is the, the only reason it's number five is because it's not maybe like a straight up comedy. Like it is uh, a comedy. Okay. And it's marketed as one, but when you watch it, you're kind of like, I don't know if this is technically one. Is Jojo Rabbit. Oh, um, uh, yeah. I, did I anyone else like one. watch? That movie, I still haven't it. watched it. I need yeah. to. You need to. Yeah, it's a fantastic, fantastic movie, and it is funny. I mean, it's Taika, right? If you watch the trailer, you're like, "This is a comedy." Yeah, yeah. But I think we get talked, to it. Yeah, we talked about it before. The subject matter alone doesn't let it be a straight up comedy. It, it, it has to deal with some dark shit, and it does. But um, it's really endearing, and it's just a really well made movie, and it's subtle humor. Um, it, it really, really good subtle humor. I think so um that that's five for me four <laughs> i know i'm gonna get a lot of shit for some of these um <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about <laughs> yeah i don't really care uh, I'm kind of tired after Pete's list, so <laughs> you're like I'm worn out. You have a chance. Yeah. Go quick. I, I, <laughs> lesson learned: Pete does not go first. <laughs> Number four for me was actually the the Baywatch remake. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, that was- that's funny. <laughs> It is that, funny. That, no, I it, that's yeah, it's that good. Was it's a legitimate as as, like yeah. Uh, and the thing is, it's again, I couldn't. It makes fun of itself. That's like, what yeah, makes it work. It is like it a comedy. Knows exactly what it is. Yeah, it, it, like but not like yeah. a traditional one, right? But it's still yeah, really not funny. Quite and, a parody of Baywatch, but it's also not. It's as close as it can get to not yeah. to being one without actually yeah. being one. Yeah. Plus, yeah. your girlfriend's on that. Although I can't yep. watch that without feeling horrible about myself afterwards. Yeah. I just look at myself. I'm like, I am just a fucking slob. Yeah. Oh, because everyone's beautiful in that movie. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like that, the obstacle course with Zac Efron. I'm like, go oh, fuck yourself, Zac Efron. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Your abs have abs. You yeah. dick. Yeah. He's like, I work out with The Rock every day. Yeah. Oh, no, off, The Rock dude. is just you know he's just muscle. He's the rock. Yeah, he's just a walking with, muscle with, with eyes and a mouth. Yeah. He's just a bicep flopping around <laughs> on the beach. So, uh, well, okay. I, I don't know. Well, God, given the 10 years. See, the thing is, is like all my fun. actual favorite comedies are not in these 10 years. Exactly. Yeah, neither yeah. are mine. Yeah, and sure. it's just like, you know, so I, I picked what I could. You know what I mean? Right. Well, number one for me is probably one of my actual favorites. But the other four are just like movies I like a lot. 
Yeah. Um, and they qualify as comedies. Number three is Lego Movie, for me. Nice. Yeah, I love Lego Movie. Um, just because that was well done. It's so good. Like I, I did not expect it to be as good as it was. Right. Um, and as funny as it was, and then also as like poignant as it was. Yeah. It was really a surprise, like on all fronts. And it was before Chris Pratt like exploded. So when he was Emmett was doing his thing, I didn't hear Star Lord and Andy and everything. It was just Emmett. Like, yeah, it, it, it came like, out right after Galaxy, didn't it? Yeah. Uh, it did. Yeah, it was. It was right it was on top. Really of it. close to yeah, but it was still just like I didn't really. He was so different, and he, I yeah. couldn't see him, so I, it just worked. And I love that movie. Um, number That's two. actually in my top five too. There you go. Yeah, my, me too. Great actually, movie. there's our overlap. Uh, number two for me is Thor Ragnarok. I had to throw yes. a Marvel in there and that's the funniest Marvel movie. I think even over guardians and stuff like that. Guardians is really fun, but I don't know. Ragnarok is just so fucking funny, dude. Like yep. the jokes in that hit so well. It's also and, in my top five. Yeah. And it was really unexpected how funny it was. Mm -hmm. it, like you, right you knew when you saw the, you knew when you saw the trailer, you were like, Oh, well, you know, it's Taika and it looks goofier, but it was like surprisingly. Yeah, it was funny the whole way through. Yeah, the whole way. Hmm. Um, and then my number one is Scott Pilgrim versus the World. I've still never seen that movie. You've never seen Scott Pilgrim? No, and I, and I keep seeing it pop up in places, and I'm like, oh, I need to go watch that, and then I just never get around to it. It's so hmm. funny, dude. Why are you shaking your head? That uh, I I even think about Scott Pilgrim. I I, I don't know. I remember I watched that. I remember seeing the movie. I just don't remember it being. I don't remember it didn't mean as much to me. It speaks a lot to me because it's basically yeah. a bunch of nerds who are in a band who play video games, and a lot of the references and jokes are based in jokes. that, uh, like yeah. sort of universe. Like when he goes into the bathroom and he starts peeing, and like the bar pops up above his head that looks like a Zelda life bar, but it says P, and then it goes down. Like just little things like that, like. A lot of the the jokes are are fun to me because they are about or they use things that I like a lot, which is like music and games. That's like everything I like a lot. So uh, for me, it works really, really well. And I think it's genuinely funny. I think there's like really, really funny bits. I remember when it came out, Michael Sarah was you know kind of the the it guy at, at yeah, the time. He was emerging, and, I, and uh, so I think I was expecting something different. Uh, it just wasn't what you know didn't hit for me that's fine i mean it's not for that's everybody okay. It's, okay. it's definitely weird as fuck like i'm not gonna it say is. it isn't it's super fucking weird but it's, it's... it kind of speaks to a specific audience in yeah. a lot of ways like a speaks lot of people like that was it, it was a graphic novel <laughs> yeah. or a manga me, I'm the audience. it was, graphic it was a graphic i have the yeah, i have the graphic novel too it's like a seven volume series yeah, like it was fun it just didn't it it didn't mean as much to me as it did a lot of people and i know a lot of people who absolutely love that movie who think it's it's yeah i, I like, watch like it you, pretty frequently and i can or it'll just be like i'll just turn it on and watch a sp certain scene and just be like so entertained and then be like cool i'm good like yeah it's just one of those movies that you can basically again if it's something that speaks to you you can start it at any point and just be like i'm entertained like something fun is happening i see that there's a million fucking people in that movie there's a lot of people in that movie yeah all the exes are like huge stars yeah, yeah. That's right. Well, most of them, that. you know, not all of them, but uh, yeah, it's pretty good. All right. Well, uh, Kevin, you want to go? Yeah. Or you yeah, want to go? go. Um, oh, wait, what? Do you have something, Alex? I was just going to say my honorable mention. I'll just keep it to one is what we do okay. in the shadows. Just because oh, okay. I love, I love the show. It's like <clears throat> probably my favorite comedy at this point, but the movie was good, but it's not the show. But I know that it set the foundation for the show, and I did enjoy it. So that was my. I'll have to rewatch. I'll have to rewatch the movie. Yeah. So because I had so many extras here, and uh, we had a little overlap, um, I'll take Lego Movie and Thor Ragnarok out of my top five, and I'll yeah, add in um, Pitch Perfect. I've always enjoyed mm -hmm. Pitch Perfect. It's uh, you know, uh, it is what it is. It's it's funny. It's got its you know it's entertainment value. And, and I, I'm a, I like rebel Wilson, man. She makes me laugh. <laughs> um, it's a great movie. Yeah. And then, um, 
I don't know that these are necessarily in order, but they're pretty close. So kind of next up the list is Easy A with um, oh, yeah. Emma, Stone. Emma Stone. Never saw it. Yeah, never saw yeah. it. It was fun. Watched it. Um, it was fun. It was definitely more of that not quite teen comedy, like just maybe a little a hair older than a teen comedy, but it yeah, um, it, it brushed the line. Yeah, right. It's super bad. Whereas a teen yeah, comedy, kinda, but it's, not not really, it's not super really, bad. It's not really, sure. It's just what I'm yeah. saying, but it's not really meant for teens. Right. I mean, but easy it, a it is because it's not it's not dirty. Yeah. Um, okay. But it. Uh, it is smarter than just, you know, your typical teen comedy. Um, then next up the list, since I lost Thor Ragnarok, my, my action Sorry. comedy is uh, Jumanji. That was, so it was Baywatch yeah. and Jumanji. I was yeah. like, which one? And I had to go with Baywatch, but that was like, that was right there. Yeah. I can only I, have I, one rock yeah. movie. Yeah. I don't have I that really in my, that yeah, I have, I, I put those together though, both of them, you know, Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle, and Next Level. As far as kind of like those, really go well together. So I count yeah. that as as one. They do, yeah. and they're a little different. Like the first one is so yeah. funny, and the second yeah. one has a lot of heart to it. I mean, it, yeah. it's funny also, but I mean, it's, it's you know it's, what really what really made both those movies work, Jack Black. You know what would have been really great if Jack Black was in it. <laughs> <laughs> That's a new segment. You know what yeah. really would have improved. <laughs> which is which movie are you thinking Black. of? You should put, you should put Jack Black in that role. <laughs> uh, all right, then we'll do the Jack Black the... pitch segment. Yeah. Jack Black and the Godfather. Yeah. Oh, obviously. So, so just just imagine Titanic, but with Jack Black <laughs> as Kate Winslet. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Oh, Ooh, I was thinking, I was twist. thinking Leo, so he could uh, do his King of the World thing. Like I'm I, was think, I was thinking, I was thinking, I was thinking, like the, fire the, explodes the behind him. He could be the captain. captain. <laughs> oh, or Billy Zane he could do the evil fiance. Oh, hello. Yeah, let's move on from this. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> that's, uh, that's for another. That's another time. That's a whole yeah, we're segment. wasting our segments, you guys. What yeah, another doing? segment will never develop. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think we just did. Um, that's actually a great idea for a segment, not just specifically to Jack Black, but what actor would have done this role better. Or worse. <laughs> yeah, I, I can see. Uh, yeah, Kevin right. has a list of uh, every Ben Affleck movie and uh, better actors. And anybody. anybody. Yeah, he's anybody. like, put Tommy Wiseau in there. We're good. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Anybody. <laughs> uh, so next up on my list uh, is Deadpool. I, I did yeah. throw in one more action one. I, I didn't notice that. But um, yeah, I, I'm a big Ryan Reynolds fan. I always mm-hmm. have been, so. Uh, Deadpool being on there is, makes Dead, sense. For me. Deadpool one and two, I put together as well. I, I think again, because I because uh, I just rewatched one um, two nights ago um, because that is that's my number one. Yeah. Just because. Oh I wow. Remember, because even because I remember when I went to the theater, well, you had to start paying attention immediately. Yeah. Where, yeah. With the with the credits, yeah. you're like like yeah. what? What's going on? And so. That and the and just the way the the story was now, you know, character wise and and casting a little bit, I think was way better in the second one. But yeah, the first really. One, yeah, uh, hmm. I, yeah. I, I I I'm not a big fan of uh, Gina Carano. Uh, she I I mean I think she's better in the Mandalorian, but I, her acting in that one was a little distracting for me. Uh, she's in it so little amount of time, yeah. and I'm just like, eh. But then also. Um, uh, the 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 X Men that they use X Force, you know, it's kind of yeah. Oh no, the X Men in the first one, but then the X Men. Oh the yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right, you're right. You, you can see how you know it, it. It was a little limiting in that, but other than that, I mean, I thought yeah. it was just hilarious with the way everything went. And yeah. Then, so and then number two with you know the Juggernaut and that storyline and Cable that was you know hilarious. Yeah, yeah. It was great. Yeah. Cable was great in that. Yeah. Um. So yeah. So those 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 were my number one. Ah. Yeah. And then the one, spoilers. The, other, the other one from my list that uh, I don't know if I, it's number one, it's just one of the ones that I liked more than some of the other ones, at least, is Bridesmaids. Yep. Right, that, yeah. was, that was in there too. Yeah, I, had that. I think that was my number hilarious. two. Um, it, it, it really was like the, the female um, uh, hangover. Uh, hangover. And, mm-hmm. and, the, and it was well done. Like it was, it yeah. was so fucking funny. Like everybody in that movie was hilarious. I think that's the movie that really kind of 
made uh, uh, Rose Byrne more of a comedic actress than she had been before, too. Yeah, that's yeah. what introduced Melissa McCarthy. Yeah, yeah, and she was fucking hilarious in that. Mm-hmm. So, so yeah, nice respectable list. So yeah, you got my uh, Deadpool one and two was in there. Bridesmaids I had in there, and then you already did Lego's movie. So in in terms of my top five, I only have two left, uh, but I have plenty of other ones I can. Fit them I was to say, there. do you so, want to swap anything out? Like yeah, Kevin I'll did? swap a couple in there. So. Uh, my number five is uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. There you go. Uh, yeah. Much much like uh, Deadpool was, where it was something where it was unexpectedly funny. Yeah. Like you know, it was just, and it wasn't because they were just like throwing jokes out there. It was like because it really went well with the the story itself and the mm-hmm. characters and stuff. So, yeah. Like, and not knowing really anything about Guardians of the Galaxy at the time, you didn't know what these characters were going to be like. So it was you know that was I like that. That's true. That was so like never, Marvel's biggest shot in the dark, right? Because those are the characters. Yeah, at that point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so uh, number four for me was Lego Movie. Again, kind of like I didn't know what to expect, and so and it was well, you know, done. <laughs> so we talked about that. So I'll swap that out. Put in Game Night. Okay. Uh, with, uh, like, Rachel night. McAdams. Yeah. That's a good, that's a good one. That's a really Payton. good one. Yeah, that was a that was another one. Where, like the the preview looks funny, but it was they they definitely left a lot for the movie yeah um, yeah in that and were a lot of unexpected things even things that ordinarily it's like okay it's getting a little ridiculous but it was just you know you kind of just went with it because yeah it was just you know really well done so i remember <clears throat> i saw that in the theater that was well received as well so game night was good and then my next one is um uh is spy with uh melissa mccarthy mm. i was i was kind of bouncing between that and the heat uh, I, I'm a big fan of Melissa McCarthy. I like most of the stuff she does. Um, uh, but uh, the Heat and Spy back and forth. What I like about the Heat is is more more about her versus like a a, ta- a tandem with uh, Sandra Bullock. Yeah. But just just if you haven't seen Spy, the scene that gets it for me is when she her coverage blown and she plays it off saying that she's a, 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 her bodyguard. And just how her her, uh, her her character turns, and she gets real crass and insulting and, and sharp. It's really funny. So um, uh, so yeah, so that'd be my number three. Number two was uh, was Bridesmaid. So um, that one's a tough one because there's uh, we already did the Jumanji's, nice guys. Um, I'll go with. Django Unchained. That uh, that more or less has a few scenes that I quote and joke around with friends. So that's always like stuck in my mind. But as far as uh, Tarantino, I feel like Tarantino films in, in some categories can, most of them at least, can be looked at as comedies. I was going to say, do you consider that a comedy? That's, yeah. I, yeah, that one I do. Yeah. Really? With the, yeah, with the way they depicted the, the clan, with the way they just made fun of, you know, you know, really um, emphasizing, you know, just how absurd it was, you know, making it seem how absurd it was that a black man was like on a horse and stuff like that. Just yeah, really, you know, in my opinion, I, I thought it was a comedy. Mm. Um, definitely with, you know, again, a tough, tough subject matter to make a comedy about. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, for the most part, um, it's definitely Tarantino does Blazing Saddles. Yeah, yeah. it was is it, as it, comedy as it's going to get. Is it that was his spaghetti western? Was Django and Change? Yeah, I suppose. So, but um, but yeah, I I, I think it's hilarious. And then uh, definitely has moments. Yeah. yeah. And then my number one was you know like I said Deadpool, but um, if I want to throw in an honorable mention there, I would say I could go with. Uh, Go with Trainwreck. Um, Is that uh, okay? Uh, Amy Schumer. Yeah. Amy Schumer and Bill Hader. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I like Bill Hader a lot as well. Um, most things that he does, I think, are good. But uh, but yeah, and Amy Schumer's. I like that one. That was her her probably her biggest hit. But um, the later stuff that she did kind of got a little old. So I think that was the only one I really enjoyed out of all of them. You know, I also like. Um, um what's his name um 
tough, tough crowd guy. Um, Colin Quinn. Quinn. Yeah, he yeah. plays the dad in that. And so, and again, that was one of those ones where uh, it was her first movie, so you kind of don't know what to expect. So that's you know, you kind of get uh, you know the the most out of her type of character. So yeah, so that's my eighteen. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Now, did anybody have on their like <clears throat> on their grand list like um, long shot with Charlize Theron and Seth Rogen? Nope. I heard that was no, good. I, I, I saw it. It was solid. But, I, I think I saw that one on a plane. But too. again, I, I as far as an out and out comedy that didn't take I don't see that as an out and out comedy. Like um, I didn't see the Good Boys, but I know that's supposed to be a comedy. Yeah, that's, you same, don't same don't here, bother. Right? Don't bother with good boys. I, I saw I, I saw a sausage party. That was a comedy, but that was a bit much. Sausage but party yeah. was. I mean, I know it's like it was talking food and everything else, but it was like even yeah. for that, it was so over the top that it like it stopped being funny to me and just started being weird. Yeah, this is the end. Yeah, that, yeah. that was good. That was good. Hmm. I, but it, but really, the movies that were like that preceding it, like Pineapple Express. Exactly. That was that was before 2010. Yeah, All my exactly. favorites are between 2000 and 2010. Like my actual if, favorites. If we're looking, if we're saying comedies of all time, that would be tough. I, I would because the 80s was very yeah. I was gonna say that's, I would yeah, lean into the 80s a lot. That's another night. Yeah, there's stuff in the 80s that that like. I mean, part of the yeah, comedy yeah, growing up. With you know what? Too. It's good that we did the 2010 to 2020s first, just to get it out of the way. <laughs> or if we ended with that, talk about a downer. Yeah, that was yeah, the yeah, thing yeah. is like I, I thought that list because the, the whole idea behind it right is I saw this list and I thought it was so bad and then I went to make my own list and I was like damn there's a lot of comedies that just weren't very good Yeah. Like, so it's on that yeah. list that, that you saw originally was there any crossover with anything that we talked about um, like I know Bridesmaids was up there yeah, um, yeah Bridesmaids of course is there it, it, it always is um, but I really don't remember the rest, but there was just stuff that I was well, like, like, I, the, the only other ones I still had on here were like, um, that I, I like, we're, let's see, we got life of the party. That was another Melissa McCarthy. McCarthy one that wasn't yeah. that mm-hmm. well received. Is that what the but, one where she uh, goes to college? Yeah. Yeah. yeah I like yeah. that one. That was a good one. That's funny. Um, we got the, uh, you said the nice guys we got Moana, um, mm-hmm. we got horrible bosses. Ted. Yeah, I got horrible bosses on here. Utopia. No, wait, wait, was no. I don't think Ted was in this decade. Ted two was. No, Ted was 2010. Was it 2010? Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, Zootopia. Yeah. Book uh, Booksmart. I the see, other I guys. Seen that one. I want to see Booksmart real bad, but I haven't seen it yet. Yeah. It's, heard, it's pretty. It's I heard good things. Yeah. The the other guys I just watched not too long ago too, and um, there's there's. I can see why it didn't do well, but it, you know a lot of funny uh, bits in there. If you haven't seen it, you know Will Ferrell's uh, somehow he's just like the lady magnet, and all, every woman that's ever been in his life has just been <laughs> freaking crazy beautiful. <laughs> um, and uh, but him and Mark Wahlberg work well together. So, yeah. uh, so there was things know. that I saw when I was looking at lists online that I was like. I don't think I could consider this a comedy. It has a lot of funny parts, yeah. like Kingsman. Is exactly. Yeah, that was considered a comedy. Yeah. Really funny. I saw, I saw that. But I would consider that an action movie before I would consider it a comedy. Yeah. And, right. not an, and not like an action comedy, like a buddy comedy. Like it was an action movie that was just really funny. Yeah. Or like yeah. kick Oh, well, I don't know if Kick-Ass came out in this era, but like similar. No, thing. but that's similar. Yeah. I, mean, same I think the Black Klansman is, is labeled as a comedy too. Ooh, that's a, that's a stretch to me. I mean, like I, was, I, there's, moments, there's funny but, parts. There's yeah. yeah, there's funny parts, but I remember it was listed as a comedy. Who did that yeah, one? I've never who, seen who, that. Who did Black Klansman? Who was the director? Wasn't it Adam Dr- oh, uh, was it Spike Lee? The driver was in it, but I yeah, it, I thought it was Spike Lee. Yeah, yeah I think it was Spike Lee. That's right. Yeah. That's a, yeah. So, but um, about, yeah, pop another star one. Hard, never stop, never stopping. That the, that was yeah, high on a bunch of lists that I saw, and I was like, that was surprisingly good. I thought I never saw it. Never watched it. Yeah, that was, that was those, uh, Andy Samberg's hilarious. Storks is another one that I think it was really funny. That was really? surprisingly funny for yeah, I like animation. Yeah, I, I, if I you like Andy Samberg, it's you know, you know, there's no reason not to like it. Yeah. See, I didn't before Brooklyn Nine Nine. I always thought he was oh, really annoying. Yeah. Oh, 
Yeah, and I can then, see that. I can and see then Brooklyn that. came around, and he was a little more tame in that. And I was like, did oh, this not, is good. Did you not see him from Saturday Night Live? Yeah, I didn't like him. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's fair. Did you ever see Hot Rod? I've never that's, seen Hot Rod. I hear that's I don't good things about that. I think one. so. It's, I love that. That's the one. That's the movie that um, I often just put on when mm. I can't think of anything else really? to watch. It's hilarious. See, that was the one. that was the era of me not really liking him, so I avoided a lot of movies that he was in. Yeah, that's... yeah, and that's fair. It's fair because if you don't like him, I can see why you wouldn't like that movie. But yeah. uh, Bill Hader's in that one. Of Danny McBride. It's pretty funny. Isla Fisher. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, it's funny. And Isla then, Fisher. Uh, She's in my actual favorite comedy of all time, which is Wedding uh, Crashers. Uh, yeah, yeah. Wedding Crashers. That's a good one. That's that a good is one. a good one. That or Sarah Marshall. It's one of those two. I think it's Wedding Crashers, yeah, but yeah, they're both, both up those there. Are good. Yeah. yeah, those are those are good. But see, you're younger uh, than us, so you would stay out of that. A lot of those '80s films that we would. Yeah, I have no '80s into. favorites as far Who's as comedy. All, uh, uh, Empire Strikes Back. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, that's, that's, like, have you seen Stripes? No, he hasn't seen Stripes. Ghostbusters. I mean, yeah, but a million years ago. And well, then and then you go, but though you run into the same thing in some of those '80s movies, though. Do you think so? Are Beverly Hills Cop and Forty Eight Hours and some of those are those Beverly comedy Hills movies? Cop are those like is but yeah. is definitely a comedy to me? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Coming yeah. to America. Oh, no, yeah. we're coming to America. Yeah, yeah. Good movies. Yeah, we got this. Don't we? We'll we'll, we'll be all right. We'll have to do another sit on this. Yeah. Yeah. We're not. It's not like we're doing this next week, which we probably are. Yeah, we are now. <laughs> now we'll break so, it up. We'll do something else. We'll do 2000 to 2010 next week. That's easy. No, we can't do another. I just named two of mine either. in that era. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's stretch this out a little bit. How about yeah. that? Yeah. Maybe yeah. we do it in two weeks. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it, you're saying we're going to do two shows in two weeks in a row? Yeah, that's that already chance. a stretch, right? We just did yeah. almost. Pete kind of fucked it up a little bit, but are we going to try to do Wednesday again? Is that what's going to happen? Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, we better start coming up with a second half segment. So and watching shit. 2010s, it is. So yeah, right. <laughs> you can name right, them off well, right now. If you've been uh, listening and or watching for this long, thank you. Appreciate it. Um, I guess next week we'll be back with uh, some more potential picks of things to watch or avoid and uh, something else for after the break. So yeah. you don't want to miss that. <laughs> we're going to have to cram on that one. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to be awesome. It, it will be epic for sure. Yeah. It'll be, it'll be absolutely uh, worth it is, is the word. Mm-hmm. It'll be worth it. So, all right. Well, see you. Bye. 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 I like how we all come back and have like children snacks. Like you had cinnamon toast crunch, have chocolate milk. Like it's just like (laughs) just a bunch of fucking babies.